Hi and welcome to Motorhome Holiday Company. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what our Motorhome Earn program is, how it works and why it might be a great fit for you and an easy and convenient way for you to make money from hiring out your motorhome through us. My name is Matt Sims and I'm the Managing Director of Motorhome Holiday Company based here in North Somerset, close to Bristol International Airport. So we get asked lots of questions. Some seem really obvious and some might even seem silly to you. Let me assure you, they're not. In this video, we're gonna get down into the nitty gritty of how it works. So grab a coffee and grab a cheeky biscuit and let's find out more. We take care of all the marketing. We store it, repair it, maintain it. We take care of the handovers, doing customer ID checks. In fact, we do everything. But firstly, some background on us, if I may. In 2008, I sold my corporate event business after organizing large scale events all over the planet and set up a motorhome dealership, as you do. <laughs> With two friends, we started growing the business very, very quickly and introduced motorhome hire as part of our sales funnel so customers could hire and try before they bought. In 2015, I sold that business and set up Motorhome Holiday Company. I left with just three motorhomes and very quickly scaled that by finding owners of motorhomes and we got to a fleet size of seven. In 2021, we ran nearly 30 motorhomes here at our base in North Somerset and our plan is to scale and grow to a fleet of around 50 motorhomes utilizing other people's motorhomes to scale our business. And this is where you come in. But of course, you have lots of questions. How does it work? How do you book it? Where's it gonna be kept? And of course, the elephant in the room, what am I gonna earn out of this? We get lots of other questions asked of us too. How do you actually book the motorhome so you can use it for your own holidays and adventures? Can you lend it to family and friends and can they book it? What age and spec does the motorhome even have to be to be a good fit? for motorhome earn? How does the insurance work? What happens if it gets damaged? And what security features do we need to fit to it? And do you pay for storage of it when it's not on hire with us? And how long is an agreement with us? So many questions. And what if you want to go away for six weeks in the summer? These are all great questions and questions that we've been asked just very recently. So join me as we head down into the studio and we'll unpack some of this very important detail. There are many investment schemes within the motorhome hire industry. One of the longest established is where you, the investor, drop tens of thousands of pounds into a company and they then go and buy a motorhome with that money. You might have some security in place such as a chattel mortgage or an agreement with that company and that motorhome is theirs but you have a tie to it. But how safe is that? How risky is that? For me, it feels like your money could be at risk. What if the company went bust? What if they went into administration? Now that's not in our plan, obviously, but 2020 proved to us that there are factors outside of everyone's control that can drive us into a position where we are at risk. Coronavirus caused me many sleepless nights as we considered our options, one of which was to go bust. Thankfully, we came nowhere near to that and have since grown uh, beyond any of our plans. Motorhome earn means that you own the motorhome. You buy it and it's your assets. The V5 is in your name, the invoice for it is in your name. And if we were faced with some commercial challenges, any administrator would very clearly see that that motorhome is not ours and in fact it's yours and they would ask you to come and take it away. Which is why we believe that this is a much safer and risk averse scheme for our investors and owners. So what type of motorhome works best as part of our motorhome earn programme? Well, condition is absolutely key. We are fastidious about cleanliness, tidiness, and the condition and service history of the motorhome. It doesn't have to be brand new. It could be a used motorhome. And ideally, our motorhomes on our fleet are up to five years old. The quality of the build is also really important, so there are a number of makes and models that we wouldn't consider adding to our fleet, and we would talk about that with you as you consider what motorhome to buy or whether your motorhome is a good fit. 
Seat belt numbers are also really key. So a two belted motorhome is obviously only suitable for a couple and is not gonna work all year as much as a four plus seat belted motorhome, which would be busy with a family in the summer and could be busy out of season as well. And most importantly, and a fundamental to this working for you, is that you must have an emotional detachment from it. Other people, without being crude, are gonna sleep, eat and poo in it. That's the bottom line, and you need to be prepared that that's gonna happen. Mileage is gonna increase at a faster rate, and wear and tear, the rate of it, is gonna be exacerbated slightly. Although I would challenge you to come and have a look at some of our hire fleet. We've had people walk into a three-year-old motorhome that's been actively on our hire fleet and ask us, is this brand new? And we say, it's been on hire for three years. We really, really do take good care of our fleet, and I'd invite you to come and see that for yourself. So why would you place a motorhome with us as part of our hire scheme? Well, obviously you want to earn some money from it, but why is it a good fit for you? Well, we heard from Glenn, who owns a really beautiful five berth family motorhome with us. In fact, it's his third motorhome. And this is what Glenn had to say. We'd done a couple of motorhoming holidays uh, in New Zealand, travelled around and we'd realised that actually motorhoming is a really good way of exploring a country. Um, so it was a, then a question of how could we get into it with the lowest cost and all the rest of it and low hassle. Um, and we luckily met Matt up at the NEC and because we'd identified that we wanted to buy a motorhome but rent it out. I'm married to an accountant, she doesn't want a big expensive asset, sat there doing nothing for the majority of the year. So it was a case of how do we make some money out of it. Um, we met up with Matt, found out about the owner's scheme and for us it's been fantastic. We live in a Victorian house on a narrow street so therefore we don't have to worry about storage, we don't have to worry about servicing, that's all included within the scheme. Um, and Matt is very open book, we know who it's rented out to, we know what the income is and we get effectively get a cheque every three months um, for our share of the income. Whenever we turn up the motorhome is in showroom condition which is exactly as we want it. So do you have to buy a motorhome through us or can you source your own? Well, the answer is you can source your own. If you own it already, then let's talk about it and see if it's a good fit. If you've not bought one yet, then let's have a conversation about what type of motorhome would be a good fit for our program. We may be able to help you find one new or secondhand and possibly even negotiate a discount for you. We may have a motorhome here that is coming up for sale that might be a good fit for you. That would be an option too. But you don't have to buy one through us, not at all. But I would say let's have a conversation before you bought it if you've not bought it yet. And so the big question, the money. How does this work? What are you gonna earn out of it? Well, let me explain. We charge our customers a really simple daily rate that includes insurance, breakdown, the handover, cleaning, all of the kit and caboodle in it, nice forks, spoons, pots, pans, and so on, which incidentally is all in there when you take your motorhome away. So it's a simple, inclusive rate. It's really simple and we love that. And simple works well for me, probably because my team would tell you I am. But let me explain a bit more about the finances. So for the sake of easy maths, let's say a motorhome earns 1,200 pounds a week. We take the VAT out, which gives us a thousand pounds. We then deduct a contribution to the higher insurance, which is typically around 2000 pounds a year. We deduct that at 25 pounds a day per day, it's on hire. So for a week, that's 175 pounds. We then deduct a one-off fee per hire of 100 pounds to cover the use of gas, washing up liquid, the cleaning of the interior, the valeting of the outside, and the handover and the admin time to get the hire ready. This leaves a profit, a gross profit, of £725. We then split that 50-50 between you and us, giving us both £362.50 a week. Now, in reality, our higher rates are slightly higher than that in the summer, and they're around that for the winter, so there are seasonal trends. The other thing that happens, of course, is a week's hire is common in the summer, weekends are more popular in the spring and autumn, and in the winter the motorhome may not go out at all. So typically, what are you going to earn? It really does depend on the layout of your motorhome and how much, of course, you want to use it. I'll come to that next. Our owners typically earn between two and a half thousand and four and a half thousand pounds a year for doing nothing. 
they own the motorhome, we do all the hard work, and it's an easy income for them. And that's a very typical income. Some do earn more because they're not really using it at all, or it's in a very high price band within our higher fleet. So how are the funds paid? We pay quarterly, so January, February, March is paid in April, April, May, June is paid in July, and so on. So we split the year into quarters, we send you a simple summary report, and we drop the money into your bank via BACs. If you're doing this through a VAT-registered company, you would add the VAT back on to the fee you're charging us, of course. So what costs do you have? Well, obviously you've got to buy the motorhome. We ask you to road tax it. But then from that point on, once it's on our hire fleet, we share all of the service costs. So tires, oil changes, um, uh, MOT if it needs one and so on, they're shared 50-50. And those costs come out of the higher income prior to the split. So we are in it with you to keep that motorhome running and on the road and serviceable. It's worth also mentioning that those costs are at a trade price because we have some really, really good trade relations with our suppliers. So there's a cost saving there. So the running costs of the motorhome are massively reduced. When the motorhome first joins us, there are, of course, some costs to get it set up and get this all started. We need to consider, does it need a bike rack? Does it need a reversing camera? We fit a tracker to it uh, and there's a subscription cost for the tracker. Some of these costs we would ask you to bear to get it fleet ready and then others we would share and we would go through that with you in detail based on the motorhome that you've chosen and that you're presenting to us. Safety is also key. Uh, a gas safe check is something we do every year. It's a, it's a requirement for us as a hire business. We also fit safety equipment such as a fire extinguisher, a fire blanket, carbon monoxide smoke alarm and so on. So your motorhome may have some of this already fitted. Uh, if not, then we would fit that um, and we would share the cost where it was possible. Many of these costs though can be taken from the higher income. So we would bear them and then reconcile them at the end of that first quarter where there is some money to be paid. We spoke with John, one of our owners, he has a four berth on our hire fleet, about the costs of ownership and how that has worked for him. Now you, you had a fantastic trip to Ben Nevis and Scotland, but it didn't quite go to plan, tell me more. Okay, so we've done a two week tour around uh, Scotland. Um, due to the motorhome is, is unplanned, you just go, we stop where we want, we move on when we want, and it's it's the life that I love. Um, ended up with a slight issue after the first week when the clutch, uh, the pedal stayed down, it didn't come back up. Um, luckily, we parked right underneath Ben Nevis, a beautiful site, um, and the clutch just gave up the ghost completely on a Friday afternoon. Yeah. Scotland's lovely, they don't work weekends in Scotland and um, rung Matt, um, or rang yourself, sorry, so I say, yeah. <laughs> rang you up and you, you try to get some help as well, some local people you knew up there and eventually I got a mechanic out and he got a fix for me, um, yeah. paid the bill, let Matt know and then he went in some of the cost because obviously it's not yeah. just me who's been driving it. So no. I was happy with that. Yeah. Keeps my cost down. Yeah, yeah. And put a new clutch on the same And, and sharing well. the cost is definitely one of the benefits, isn't it, for an owner? Um, Absolutely, yeah, because it's got to have an annual service anyway. So whether it's parked on the drive, it still needs oil and needs changing every 12 months. So, mm. yeah, it all, you know, it all helps me. I'm making yeah. money from it and the costs are down for me. I would say if you've got the money, go for it. The reason I went into this, I had done a motorhome holiday, I rented one. I got the bug, but I don't want to park my motorhome up for 48 weeks a year. No. It's a lot of money tied up sitting on the driveway. This is um, an investment for me. I had some inheritance. You know, it's just under 10% of my investment I'm getting back every year. So yeah. it's more than I'll get in a bank. We understand that your motorhome is your pride and joy and it will be ours as well. And it may be that you don't want dogs in it, for example. That's fine. That's absolutely okay. We would, as we set the motorhome up to join our fleet, we would establish whether pets are going to be permitted, whether you're going to allow it to Europe. Some of the motorhomes are very long and recovering them back to the UK could be tricky and may take some time. So we don't allow European trips in those. What about when you use it? What condition has it got to be bought? back to us in. Well, we ask you to give it the best interior clean you possibly can. Some of our owners make use of our cleaning materials here and our vacuum. We though will valet the outside. We will take care of that uh, with our specialist pressure washer and specialist equipment. 
one of our owners, Pat, was always praised for the condition in which she returned the motorhome. In fact, Pat has now joined us as part and head of our housekeeping team. But we had a chat to Pat about what being part of Motorhome Earn with her motorhome is really like. I remember you actually bought one that was already on our hire fleet that we were selling to that owner wanted to sell it. And I remember that you, you bought it. We did. Um, now you carried on hiring it out with us, but that wasn't in your original plan, was it? No, we, we had absolutely, we didn't even, even know that, that that was an option at that right. stage. It was, it was only when we, we came to yourselves and, and the open day that that was kind of explained to us that that could be one of the options that, that on routes we could go down um, to, to sort of, you know, maybe make ourselves a, a little bit of extra money and also to still be able to have the holidays that we wanted to have in a motorhome. Um, so yeah, it kind of snowballed a bit from there. and. So, and that, but that wasn't part of your plan. Absolutely to, to not. Rent it out. No, absolutely not. We we had had no no idea about doing that at all. And it, like I say, it was it was just having talked to yourselves, and we sort of mulled it over for a little while, and sort of said, actually, that that's not a bad idea. We you know we're thinking about retirement coming up fairly soon, and it may be a little bit of a pension pot for us. You know, it may be it will give us a little bit of extra money towards our pension, and give us a little bit of extra money to be able to go away in in the vans and stuff. So. Yeah, it was. It all kind of snowballed from there, really. And, and you, you have a clear emotional detachment to it, don't you? I, I, I myself do. Through. Yeah, I, I, um, I, I purely really see it as as a pension pot for me. It for me, it's um, it's a money earner. It, it's something that I love going away on holiday in, but it's not my pride and joy. It's not my baby. It, it's it's purely there for me to to sort of have a nice holiday, for it to come back on the fleet afterwards, and for it to earn some money for us. No. You've joined us as part of our team and you see what happens with the motorhomes and how they go out and you're responsible for making sure they're fantastically presented. Um, and we have some superb reviews around how clean they are, which is all down to you and, and the rest of the team. But you see what happens when they get damaged and sometimes they do. Um, what happens in that scenario? Now, I know it's not your pride and joy, but what happens if it does get damaged? Yeah, I mean, I mean, our experience of, of damage that's happened has not been too bad, to be fair. We've, we've had a, a couple of, of damages that tyres have done and it's come back and it, obviously the, um, the excess has, has covered the hirer's expenses on that. They, that's come out of their excess and it's all been repaired beautifully and you wouldn't know that there was any damage there. No, I recall we had one instant where we ordered spare parts and there was a delay on getting them, wasn't there? There so was, yeah. We, we actually, in the end, we made a repair and we got you to look at it. It was, it was a beautiful repair. You, you, you just, tell. No, no, you can't tell no. the difference. One of the limitations of having a motorhome here with us at Motorhome Holiday Company is that you can't personalise it. You can't put bunting in it or stickers all over the outside. It just doesn't work as part of our hire fleet. Whilst you're away on holiday, you can do almost whatever you like in there. But when you bring it back, we ask you that you return it to ground zero and you kind of it's reset back ready for the next hire. What about letting family and friends use it as well? Well, this is something lots of our owners do ask us and we have a plan for that. So we can add them to our hire insurance for just the cost of adding a driver, which at the moment, as I record this, is £42. That will cover the admin fee and get them insured to be on our hire insurance and they can have their holiday. We would need them to do an ID check and we would need them to pay the £1,000 excess that we charge our customers. The benefit for you as the owner is if something goes wrong, they reverse into a tree or damage it in some way, we resolve it with them directly. You don't have to get involved and have it spoil a family Sunday lunch as that's an elephant in the room that you don't want to talk about with them. So we deal with it with them directly and it totally uh, takes all the emotion out of it for you and simplifies the process. One of our owners, Richard, does exactly this and I'll hand over to him to explain a little more. Uh, yes, we've got four grandchildren, uh, two families there and uh... I, well, I wouldn't say regularly use it, but they certainly would take it out two or three times a year, maybe, uh, as well as our use for, for our motorhome. There are obviously many benefits uh, from the whole motorhome earn um, scheme for us and them to, to slip into the, to, to using it um, so simply. And Motorhome Holiday Company, Matt, you in particular, have been so good and so gracious in, in accommodating uh, uh, the whole family's use through motorhome. I mean, insurance and, and other things, I guess, is it's the hassles. I, I put that in a hassle section of our chat, really. Uh, but insurance, 
so simple. Um, it's just moving into uh, through a couple of emails and um, uh, some information. Um, they're insured. So thank you for that. So you've named your motor now. Normally, yeah. This, yeah. I just want to say this normally raises a red flag for me okay. when someone has named their motorhome because that shows a strong emotional attachment to it. And I always talk about, you know, you must have a, a detachment emotionally from the motorhome. So tell me more about that. We've got a history in our family of naming everything. You know, anything with wheels certainly gets a name, but I guess most people what are they? I don't know. Are we normal? Um, <laughs> yeah, I think but, so. <laughs> I mean, it, it was a given that, uh, that we, we needed to name the van, and, um, and particularly with the family using it and the young children as well. We're not quite attached to vehicles like some people are, I would say. So you had the plan to buy this motorhome to use for you know, your family use. How, uh, how did you decide to get into Motorhome Earn? What was that yeah. journey you went on that ended up with your motorhome here with us? Okay, so we had been around several different suppliers of motorhomes. We'd been to a couple of shows and uh, looked for the offers. And I think when we, we hit Hewish and came down to you, there was something different going on, very, very definitely something different going on. There was the dynamic of we could trust these people. And then you talked to us about Motoma and you gave us a piece of paper, I think, a little booklet maybe about what the benefits are and, uh, and, and maybe what the downsides are as well and what, how that would work. And we took that away and, and talked about it. What, what clinched it for us, we met up with you and uh, some of the other staff and we just thought, this is a good company. I think we can trust these people. We'd like to go into a relationship uh, with, with them as well as buying the home. So we were, we were sold on that. We thought there would be a time when it might be useful for us to have Fifi on the drive and um, actually live in it. Uh, so we've got that little bit of detachment away from a quite a stressful home situation. Um, and that was a possibility. As it was, it didn't quite work out like that. But with Motorhome Earn, we would have had that flexibility. Probably she wouldn't have been being used by anyone else through Motorhome and very much in the winter anyhow. So it was just another benefit for us uh, to, to use her in that way. If I was starting this up again and I had your, your pamphlets about uh, Motorhome, I'd be looking at, do I want a working relationship in a flexible working relationship with Motorhome Holiday Company? And I'm so glad that we decided um, to do that um, because it's really benefited us. And I, I believe it's benefited your company, who we do believe in. It's a great company. Um, the maintenance cost is a huge thing. I mean, it's a bit of a, it's a no-brainer for us to be able to share the maintenance costs. I think the whole thing is that um, there's a flexibility in the use and it keeps us in touch with the company that we believe in, to be honest. And I know benefits a lot of people in terms of how they serve them. And I'd just like to say as well, Matt, I, you, not sure how public you want this, but you do go the extra mile in most in some of the most uh, difficult situations. I remember having to come down from North Yorkshire um, after one day of use. I arrived on your day off in the evening and you came over to pick Fifi up and just let her in and everything. And I, at that time, I just thought, oh, my word, they do go the extra mile, this company. And you do. You're a great company. And uh, it's an absolute pleasure to, to do business with you. We have a fantastic base in North Somerset at Hewish, which is really close to the M5 for Bristol and Western Supermare and really close to Bristol International Airport, which is really convenient for people travelling to us from abroad to come on a UK motorhome holiday. Some of our owners, in fact, most of them live quite close to us, which of course makes it very convenient for when they go away on their holiday. But some of our owners live much further afield. I had a chat with Grant on a Zoom call, and as you will tell from his accent, he's not very local to us. I'm based in uh, west of Scotland and uh, next to Loch Lomond, so it's not the worst bit of the world to be in. And um, yeah, it's very scenic, it's a nice bit of the world. Being so far away from us, you can't keep a close eye on the motorhomes yourself. So what reassurances do you have that they are being looked after? Well, you know, all operations I've come across so far for your company, including accounts and payments, uh, which are paid out quarterly, I should say, very efficiently and punctually, and, and all the maintenance of the motorhomes, um, you know, it's undertaken uh, very reliably by Matt and your by, by you and your team, and, and I've actually met two of your team, Matt. Um, one, uh, Nicola from the office, who I found very personable and efficient again, and the other is Jordan, 
and he's involved in making sure that motorhomes are all maintained well um, so that I'm not uh, losing any value of my property, make, make sure that they're looked after really well. And that, that gives me a lot of reassurance in itself. You, know? you invested in a different type of scheme before, which was, which was quite different um, mm. to ours. What would you say were the benefits of the uh, programme that we run? Well, well, the previous um, scheme which I involved, I was investing in basically um, what happened was that the money that I invested was uh, used to purchase motorhomes for that company. And um, so I didn't actually own the motorhome at that point, but my money was invested in the company. Um, it subsequently went into administration and um, luckily found Motorhome Holiday Company and you online. And uh, basically uh, it means that I've got tangible assets. So I feel that uh, that's much more secure and I know my motorhomes are. Um, we, we communicate quite often as well, as you know. It's a very different kind of investment and much more secure to say that the assets are tangible and that's really what makes a difference to me. Well, well from day one, actually, um, I found your company and you personally very trustworthy, uh, friendly, uh, efficient, straightforward. All the words that you would like to hear I've actually found to be the case and I've never been disappointed. Um, I think uh, I invested since about June 20 2020 it must be Matt yeah and I've never been disappointed at the service I've received so I'm happy to recommend to anyone who uh, basically is looking to make some profit from uh, owning their own motorhomes um, uh, to invest with yourselves you know this is a great way to make money with no fuss to to myself or to yourself if you're thinking of investing. So what if you want to go away in your motorhome and it's booked it's not available to book. Uh, you can check our availability online. In fact, that's where we ask you to book as if you were a customer and that puts you into our operational system uh, as a customer for zero cost for when you go away. Well, it's possible that you could go away in another motorhome. Why not? In fact, this was a comment I made to a couple who were considering becoming part of our programme and they double checked with me afterwards later that evening uh, on a phone call and said, you mentioned we could go away in something else. We're thinking that you know we're, we're buying a van conversion, camper van, but actually we'd like to try a coach-built motorhome, one with an overcab bed. Does this mean that we could do that by being part of the programme? Uh, and I had unwittingly mentioned this and not realised the importance of this benefit to them. And yes, absolutely, so long as that owner gets their return, we just apportion the income to them. So we would need to put you on our insurance to do that, but that's something that we're very, very happy to do. Another benefit of being part of Motorhome Earn is that when you're going away on your own holiday, you can just turn up and go. The motorhome is fully equipped with gas, toilet chemical, knives, forks, spoons, pots, pans, cookware, tableware, bakeware, outdoor furniture. In fact, everything you need to use the motorhome is in it, just as it is for our own customers. And you are welcome to make advantage of that and take advantage of all of those facilities. You just turn up with your with your shopping and your uh, overnight gear and your clothes and your sense of adventure, hang your coat and go. It's really simple. You're very welcome to leave your car with us as well whilst you're away on holiday. I spoke with Rob, who owns a van conversion camper van as part of our fleet, and asked him what were some of the benefits for him of being part of Motorhome Earn. There's probably quite a few benefits, I think, that for us. Um, firstly, I think is... Um, having someone maintaining the van for us and looking after it whilst we're not using it because some of these these things when they're they're left to sit on your driveway they things will probably go wrong as much as if they are used so um, that, that's definitely a benefit you've we've got the significant i think advantage that we that impacted us um was our first hire sorry not our first hire but our first usage was just after one of your planned hires mm -hmm. the van actually had a problem there was a, I think if you recall, Matt, there was a water leak. There, there was, yeah. We, Big you know, water leak. Got, yeah. Yeah. So, um, and from our perspective, yeah, that happened, I think, about a week before we were due to use the van ourselves for the first time. But I think one big significant factor from using you guys is that you had the infrastructure to get the van, sort it out, fix it, and it was ready for us. I mean, so that could have quite happily, quite easily have happened when we were using it. Uh, and it probably would have spoiled our holiday. 
Uh, yeah. But the advantage of you, know, you guys being on hand, having that network, having the skills, having the contacts actually probably made quite a significant difference for us um, in, in getting the van. Yes. And I know you were considering, uh, well, you hired, didn't you, from us to begin with, and then you were considering hiring out a motorhome you owned yourself through a third party agency. Um, but you decided not to do that. Why, why was that? Yeah, we just we, we did look at that. As you said, we hired one first because we did want to just to make sure that the motorhome life was for us because we didn't want to invest all this money and then find actually we don't didn't get on with it. But we hired one from you that was not quite the same as the one we ended up buying, but it was a similar sort of size and footprint. So it would give us that good impression of the van. And the reason we opted for not going through a third party and sort of doing it independently was a lot of it was to do with the, the general management of the van and the logistics because if you manage it yourself you've got to sort out the insurance albeit the third parties will give you advice on that so i did did look into that um but you have to sort out the handovers yourself you have to check the van you have to prep the van i mean at th that point prior to we were looking at there was none of covid so i mean now you sanitize and fog it so I mean, there's extra value in you guys doing that extra extra hygiene there on the vans and what we didn't want to get engaged with is if there's any problem with the van you start arguing about they put this scratch in it this dent in it um and although there was probably a lot more returns of doing it yourself it was just for us we felt that probably increased the the stress and the, the workload on us so you probably find yes financially you may be better off but you may end up with a lot more stress yeah so we figured that going through a an organization that do it as their sort of bread and butter um it would be a lot more beneficial for us yet yeah, over the course of the year we may not get as much money but we certainly don't get any stress the bonus is that you guys do treat the bands like they're your own and look after them and we know if anything happens that we know it's going to get resolved and, and sorted even when we want the van it's it's prepared for it's ready it's all kitted out, ready. You just need to, we just need to come along with our um, food and clothes and, and that's it. So even as, as an owner, it makes it quite easy for us to use the vehicle as well. So there's, there's quite a few pluses there. What I would also say to people is um, do expect things to happen to your van. I mean, I know you, you probably admit, Matt, that we've probably been a bit unlucky with ours. I think you have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Albeit the more um, minor, but nonetheless. Yeah, they're all, all minor issues, but I think it's being prepared as an owner that things will happen, but have that confidence that Matt and his team will rectify it and sort it out and liaise with the, the customers and the insurance companies to sort out any issues. Well, I trust you found that useful and helpful and thank you ever so much for your time. If you've got more questions, and I, I'm sure you probably have, then do please feel free to get in touch with us. If you head to our website, motorhomeholidaycompany.com forward slash motorhome earn, there's lots more information there. And in fact, a form you can fill out to make an inquiry as to whether uh, we could work together with your motorhome. Again, thank you for your time. I look forward to discussing how we might work together and have your motorhome as part of what is for us a very exciting future ahead. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.